it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. I have a fun project for you today. This is one of my all time favorite hacks. Okay. This is wood. See wood? More wood. More wood. How do you get this wood like this? This is printable heat transfer on wood. I love it, okay? This is one of the simplest projects ever and it has the most stunning results. See how it looks like it's even the wood grain? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how you do this and I'm going to give you a free template so that you can get these the exact same size and everything. And I actually just realizing that I forgot to actually put the link to these and I know you're gonna ask. So what you do, you take StarCraft printable for lights. This is an inkjet inkjet material. So you need to use it in your inkjet printer, okay? Not a laser printer, not a sublimation printer. And you're literally just going to print your designs from Silhouette Studio. I design it all in Silhouette Studio. Um, and then I'm gonna show you, they come out looking like this, okay? And then you literally press and put them right onto your blanks. And it is adorable, okay? You can do patterns. You can do, look at this, I love this one. Oh no, that was, well, I love this one, but I really like this one. All kinds of fun things, okay? All of these designs are from Sofonti, which by the way, there's 20% off the entire site today. So if you're interested, stock up. Now, here's how you're gonna do this. I pre-printed a sheet because sometimes it takes the printer a long time. And of course now I can't figure out where I put my pre-printed sheet. Oh, here it is. But I'm going to do it from start to finish so that you can see the whole process. It just may take, three minutes for the design for the project to get from Silhouette Studio to my printer. But I'm gonna do it, and if we have a problem or it takes too long, I pre-printed one, because I've been around the block enough to know that on Facebook Live, things go wrong, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to, here's what my Silhouette Studio, wow, I'm, I'm very close. Here's what my Silhouette Studio looks like. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. Doo -doo -doo. All my designs okay they are going to perfectly fit on my piece of paper and they have been perfectly sized to fit on here i'm giving you the size template so you have it okay you're going to take your starcraft and you're going to place it in your printer back side for me is up because of the way my printer prints okay and then you're just going to go up and you're going to hit print now my suggestion usually i tell you print at the highest quality. For these, I would not print at the best, best quality because that lays down extra ink. When you lay, lay down extra ink, you can sometimes get this bleeding, okay? Because there's extra ink, so you don't want that. So I would just do normal ink, regular, normal, print, okay? Your designs do need to be flipped in reverse, and the reason being, when they are placed onto your ornament, like this, it's then going to be peeled off and then it will be correct. All right. Okay. So while we wait for that, this to print, it's printing. Well, it's going to print supposedly. Um, I'm going to show you the next step. So just pretend that that has printed. And what you're going to do is you are then going to take a pair of scissors. I've got five ornaments out of this and I'm going to cut apart my pieces. Okay. You don't need to use print and cut for this because any white space won't show, okay? If you're doing, how did I get the wood grain? I filled the template, the ornament template, with a wood grain. They come standard in Silhouette Studio for free in the patterns, in the patterns section, so you can do that, okay? And then I just placed the design on top. And I made the design white. Oh, good, it's printing, okay? I want you to see how it comes out. Um, anything that is white is just going to show the natural wood here, okay? Okay. My inkjet printer, okay? See that? Okay, so we can use these if we want. I want you guys to see the whole thing. So I'm gonna take my paper, and I'm gonna just cut them apart, okay? So as I was saying, on the wood grain ones, I made a little bit of a bleed area. And I do that 
so that when I place it on here, it goes edge to edge. See this? Okay. All right, I'm gonna get a couple ready at a time, so we can do a few at a time, however many can fit on my heat press, okay? Now, if you have a design like this, I would suggest hold it up to the window or a light so you can make sure that it's centered, okay? I got a light right here, okay? And then, okay, you're gonna place it on your heat press directly so that the printable is up. I guess I can undo this cord so I can step back, okay? These are easy because it's got the template, okay? 375, 15 seconds. Not a whole lot of pressure, medium pressure, okay? That will prevent also the ble any bleeding, help prevent any bleeding, okay? While that's going, this was set for 20 seconds, so I'm just gonna manually do it, okay? Then, peel. Looks like stained wood, right? Here's one that didn't have it. You need to peel quickly, okay? Because if you don't, you get a film. Let's do a couple more. These are so fast and easy. Um, and there's set tons of sets for them. Look, you can make this for a teacher. We've got, where's that other one that I had for a teacher? You can do double-sided. And then you can add a ribbon. You can add a bow, okay? Like I said, you can do this. Oh, here's the other one. Teacher gift, put this on as, put their name on there. That could be a bag tag, wine tag, wine bottle tag. You can do this on other types of wood as well. See that? You're literally just printing on the printable HTV. Okay, let's do this one. If you, I'm using a small nine by 12 heat press but you can use um, a larger one as well. And you can do multiple at the same time. Okay, I'm holding up to the light. Okay. See, press them, 15 seconds, okay? And then all we have to do, tie a little bow, we're literally, if you missed it, you can go back and watch the whole thing. I also have a written tutorial that I link to. Um, okay. Like I said, you wanna peel these fast. You're printing, it looks like it's right on the wood. Okay, these are so fast and easy. Look how cute they are. All of these designs. Where do I get the wood? I'll put the links up top because I forgot. Look, at, I'm gonna have to turn back. Look at, look how many I have here. You literally could do, these are endless, countless. Wow, I just printed that as a, you know. But you could make these so many. The, there are so many different possibilities. You can make different color um, wood by changing the color that you fill it with. This one, like I said, I love how that one came out, okay? all different types of things but these are awesome um all of these designs like i said came from so fancy um and today only it's 20 percent off with the code save big if you are interested in getting them there's ton there's a whole section for um rounds design rounds but really you don't even have to use a design a round design you could just use whatever you want but this is the ones that i printed as you can see how they came out here right and i will throw up the link for these this comes in a whole pack I think there was like 50 of them that came together. I got these last year. Um, and they come with the jute and everything, okay? All right, so you do need a heat press for this because it needs a lot of pressure and it needs high heat for this. I've tried it with um, the other, like a like an easy press or something like that. And sometimes um, it's kind of slips around. I don't know exactly, but you need to, I would highly suggest that you use a heat press for these. Um, oh, here's, let me point this out. If you're using like a printable background, like a pattern background, put an offset around it, fill it with white so that your, pro your 
it actually stands out. See that? Okay. Yeah. So it's inkjet printable. I put the link up top for you at Starcraft and you just print it on your regular printer. You cannot use regular printer paper. You need to use Starcraft. Okay. This is what it was printed on. Okay. Don't waste your paper and just do one at a time. Do a whole um, do a whole, um, sheet of them. This, as I said, this was just, I just made, was making sure before I used, um, my Starcraft, I just printed it on a piece of printer paper as a sample and to make sure that they, it was sized correctly and everything. Okay. All right. I will throw the link up as, uh, um, I will throw the link to the rounds themselves or these ornaments themselves up top. Um, and I will go through, I see there's some confusion. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. You need Starcraft printable material for lights. Comes in a whole pack. Link up top. You print it on your inkjet printable. You print it on your inkjet printer. You cut them apart. Ta-da! And you press. Literally. So the part that you're using your silhouette for is designing. Okay? This is so simple. If you need a fun gift for someone, if you need a teacher gift, if you need ornaments for a Christmas tree, if you need bag tags, wine tags, whatever, any occasion, any holiday, these are perfect. Okay? See how it comes off? Boom. Love it. Chaos coordinator. Is that what we all are right now with this home school? Yes. Okay. All right, you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Don't forget if you're interested in these designs, if you're interested in bundles, fonts, if you need anything commercial use designs or fonts, so fancy today, 20% off. It ends at midnight. This we've only this is the only day we've done this all year. So go 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 site wide. Okay? All right, see you guys.